All right, uh, we're getting ready to install a clutch basket here. We thought we'd take the time, this would be a really quick video here to talk about the importance of this clutch up nut. Lexi, hold that up so she can see both sides of it. You can see that there's a recess in there, okay? And if we flip the nut, you can see that it's flat. And we have to be extremely intentional on how we install this. Let's look at the engine. I'll take this washer out of the way. Can you see the raised splines right here? If we tighten that nut down, what's going to happen it without the recess? Let's take this and kind of set it in here, maybe to kind of make a point at the same time. Those splines need to be able to go in this area. If we put it on the wrong way, what's going to happen is they're going to bottom out there and we won't actually be clamping, using the right clamping force or torque to this inner basket to the outer basket. We're gonna go ahead and demonstrate that now and show that we will pull torque on this and it'll actually be loose. Go ahead and back up. All right, Lexi, let's put that on wrong. We need a do not try this at home. Just gonna torque it to half torque. This actually calls for 65 foot pounds. Yes. Okay, which is common for these large diameter nuts, but go ahead. Tyler here is using a special tool by Motion Pro to hold the basket. What's happening is it's, let's go ahead and stop right there. What's happening is we're literally forcing and wedging over those splines. Take the tool out. See that? Man, this could be a great little video. I've always won this one. We're going to go ahead and remove it and do it the right way. Need you to put your holder back on. How easy is that to overlook, though, if you don't know? You Very. put the nut on, you put your pack in, you just keep going. And then uh, you, all of a sudden your clutch doesn't operate properly. You want to bet we put little burrs on those splines? Yeah. Let's look, because that might make the clutch basket hard to take off for the future. I don't recommend doing this at home. This is only just for our purposes to show how to do it wrong. Now, if we look down in there, I don't see anything that's going to stop us from being able to take it on and off. Look at the but washer, or in the nut. See how the little gouges in it? Yeah, nice. Great. It actually hit the threads, didn't it? Because the splines were digging in there a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, let's do it the right way. Use your service manual. This one uses a retaining washer that we're going to bend over. Some use Loctite. Some use a lock washer. Now, without even torquing it, okay, I'm hand tight. Watch this. It's, I can't, I can't move that up and down like before. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and torque it properly. Notice that the torque wrench this time will click, and a lot easier. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, let's just stop. We're not even gonna do full torque. Take the tool off. Let's just do ABA testing here. Tight. That's the right way to do it. Use your service manuals, use all your resources, and do the job right. Every mechanic should know. Hey guys, uh, I'm going to make this short and sweet because I really said everything in the video that I think that's most important. But in summary, I wanted to make a point that this isn't in the service manual. There's just that understanding that as the service manuals are wrote, quite often it's that it was installed correct from day one and that you should just be able to duplicate that. But what this teaches us is that our job as mechanics and technicians is to really look at the parts, both sides, 360 degrees, all the way around. You know, we have to be able to look for details and look for things. You know, you would think that putting it on wrong, it would immediately be caught, and then it would be like, oh, this isn't right. But it's, it's really not the case. You just, as you keep putting parts and keep putting parts, we end up covering up 
things like this that we won't know are a problem until we actually go to use that system, whatever it may be. So uh, just really have to be diligent to look for these things and, and have an understanding that there's going to be things like this that creep up that are not in the service manual. Take advantage of uh, understanding the engineering be behind why something works the way it does. So make it a great day and uh, keep turning wrenches.